Hello everyone, I'm Dallas, the developer of GT40. I'm here to help you uh, to walk through the use of GT40. First, you need to go to the gt40.net website and click download now to download the installer. Uh, it's only uh, three megabytes, so it won't take long. After download, you click the download file and start the installation. This is the first time that you install uh, GT40 and uh, you'll be greeted by a welcome message. So it explains uh, the welcome message explains the basic use of GT40. And uh, you will be asked to select a language pair. So we just pick the default English to Spanish here. And this is the first time you run GT40. You'll be greeted uh, with a demo text file explaining how to use a GT40. Basically, GT40 has uh, two shortcuts to your two keyboard shortcuts to your system. You just have to select some text anywhere and press the first shortcut is Ctrl J. So you select some text and press Ctrl J. The selection is replaced by machine translation. And you don't have to always select the whole sentence because MT can do really bad job translating a very complicated sentence. But you can decide and you can be very selective as to what to be translated by machine translation. For example, we only translate this part, uh, this phrase, Ctrl J. And the next shortcut is Ctrl D. Ctrl D is for dictionary feature. So you can sell it, it works the same way. You select a word or phrase and press the shortcut Ctrl D. You get the translation results from online dictionaries in a pop up. Now we can select one and insert the selection. Some users ask me, why can I import my translation file into GT40? Uh, well, GT40 does not work that way. GT40 works as a plugin for all programs that you are working in now. So if you're working in uh, in Microsoft Word, GT40 will work in GT40 Word, uh, Microsoft Word. For example, in Microsoft Word, you select some text and uh, press Ctrl J. And the, trans uh, the selection is replaced. And select Word and press Ctrl D. You get translation uh, suggestions from dictionary. Of course, it works in Microsoft Excel too. Select the sentence, Ctrl J. And select a word, press Ctrl D. And it works in uh, CAD tools too, uh, like SDR Studio. And first, you need to copy the source text to target and select a phrase or a sentence and press Ctrl J. And uh, you select Word and Ctrl D to get suggestions from online dictionary. There is also a shortcut for translating current segment in CAD tools like SDR Trados Studio or other uh, CAD tools like uh, MemoQ. Uh, the shortcut is Control Alt J. And Control Alt J again. The current segment is translated by MT.
sometimes we don't want our uh, translation, our source text to be directly replaced by MT translation. We want uh, just uh, suggestions from MT translation. Uh, you can uh, select some text, press Control the Windows button J, and then you'll get a list of translations from different um, machine translations. So the first one is from uh, Google. The second is from Microsoft, the third is Google Phrase Space, and the fourth is Depot. And uh, you can also press D here to get alternative translations from Depot alone. So Depot has that unique feature that can provide you different translations for one single sentence. And if you think the third one is good or the fourth one is good, you just choose to pick the fourth one and insert it. Sometimes we are asked by the clients not to translate certain terms. Now we can ask MT not to translate them too. So to do that, you select the term, press Control Windows D, and press A here. Add simple add to simple glossary, and uh, then add this add to simple glossary uh, dialog. Just leave the translation the same with the source, and press save. That's pretty much everything. Now you can select the whole text, whole sentence, and press Ctrl J. You see, the machine translation will leave comp points alone and not to touch, and not to translate it. It can be annoying when machine translation always translates uh, translates a term that in the wrong way, and now you can fix it uh, with GT40. Uh, to do that, you go to uh, uh, the GT40 button at the right bottom corner and double click it to start the GT40 setup screen and go to the machine translation tab and make sure fix machine re empty results with glossary uh, is picked uh, as post translate here in the example and you press OK. Now, for example, uh, we want the word cat, cats, to be translated as we want. So we select the word cats, press Control Windows D, and then press A, add to simple glossary, and then now we provide a translation. For example, we provide a sentence meow meow. Now we select the whole sentence and press Ctrl J. The word cats is translated as meow meow as we wish. Now if you receive a job like this, uh, it's an update job uh, provided with past translations and you are only asked to translate the highlighted sentences, highlighted parts. Uh, to keep consistency with the past translation, you have to search for a certain word in the past translations. And GT40 makes that search easy. To do it, you just have to select the source column. Here is uh, the in this example is English. And uh, press uh, then copy. Or use Ctrl C to copy. And double click on the GT40 icon. And go to dictionary and glossary. And click edit current glossary file in Excel and then you select the column A and press paste and now you're pasting the source column into GT40 glossary file and then you go back to the file you're working in and select the column translation column here in the example is Spanish and copy and then again you go to the uh, glossary file and paste into the target column and save yeah that's pretty much it now if you uh, want to select you want to search a term 
in the past translation, you just have to select the term and press Control Windows button D. Remember, GT40 is a standalone program. Uh, it works anywhere. After you import the source and target column into the GT40 glossary, you can search for a term anywhere in the past translation. So for example, you can uh, search the term in uh, SDL Trader Studio. If you want to see the, all the matches of the word blocked in the past translations, you press select the word and press Control Windows D, and then now you can press the button O here. See all results. And the results will be loaded in a browser, and you can see the translations, uh, the source text, and the translations. You can also ask GT40 to handle tags properly. For example, in this sentence, uh, this part, do not translate me, should not be translated. Now, we can ask the GT40 not to translate this part. You go to GT40 setup, machine translation, and click uh, tick do not translate text between the opening tag is and the closing tag and click OK. Now you can select the whole sentence and press Ctrl J. And this part is not translated. 